What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about A Quiet Place Day 1 in this video here today. So we got our first look at A Quiet Place Day 1 this morning. As you see on your screen, we have Sam played by Nupita Nyong'o and Eric played by Joseph Quinn. Now the location for them in this photo is a rather intense sequence from what I know about the story just to tease you guys a bit. And I guess I'll also say scoop and firm because if you've been following me on Twitter and my YouTube videos, you know that I tweeted that Lupita was named Sammy in the film a few times and that she is a hospice patient in Entertainment Weekly basically has confirmed all of that this morning at least in relation to the character name not the hospice patient part but here's what lupita had to say about the film to entertainment weekly she said this notion of a quiet new york is one that will arrest many it's an impossible thing to imagine when you live there you block out all the sound quite naturally you just forget to hear the sound i realized how hard it would be to survive in a world that required you to be silent in that particular city when you have a family she's talking about the abbots from the first two films here when you have a family there's an innate expectation that they will want to stick together but in this film day one we have these disparate individuals who collide into each other's lives she's talking about sammy and eric and it's at a very p pivotal time for the world how do they negotiate survival together what we get is really interesting and even surprising chemistry in the characters that meet each other along the along the way Joseph Quinn, who stars as Eric, said this about the film. It's more of a character drama than anything. The script is obviously set in the world that we know, but it's very much a film about these two characters who are lost and trying to negotiate their fates. There's also some wonderful other characters in the film who Sam encounters, but the bulk of it is Eric and Sam in their mutual acceptance of this bleak, more quiet new reality. We also got our first trailer this morning that began with the Abbots showing their life, but counted down to day one, where we met Sam, played by Lupita Nyong'o again, walking through New York with her cat Frodo, and she sees something in the sky that crash lands, and of course, these are our aliens that start causing chaos in the crowd. Sam goes unconscious at one moment and then wakes up with the man from the island in part two, who is back since this is a prequel, uh, who's trying to keep her quiet. Then we get glimpses of Eric and Sam teaming up, running through the city with Sam's cat Frodo, etc. It's very short, it's intense, and doesn't show a lot. I'll say this again for anyone that wants to know what Sam or Eric's fates are. If the trailers don't make it obvious, which this first one does not, which is a very good thing, just pay attention to how both characters are introduced when the aliens arrive. When you sit down and watch this movie, pay attention to how these characters are introduced. It's very poetic and foreshadows their fates in the story. And as for Frodo, I will say this. Do not worry about Frodo. I joke with a few people online, but there's no need to worry about Frodo. <laughs> the cat is fine. Outside of Maxine, I would argue that A Quiet Place Day One could be the second strongest horror film that I'm excited for, just purely based on the spoilers I have, the cast, and now this amazing trailer. I think Sam is going to be one of my favorite characters this year, just based on her story and Lupita's performance, which has been praised. In the past, I've told you this film is very similar to movies like uh, The Descent, which I still stand by. I think it's very similar to the to the descent. It's very similar to I Am Legend. And there's a episode of The Last of Us that this is also very reminiscent of. The episode with the couple, I think it's called Long, Long Time. And I'm thinking of Dennis O'Hare's character who plays Lenny. That's why I'm thinking of the fact that this is also it has some sort of similarities with episode three of The Last of Us. For those of you who like that episode, which I thought episode three was a fantastic episode. But let me know what you guys think about A Quiet Place Day one down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the first look at the film? Why or why not? What are your hopes for the film? It comes out in June. I'm a f I'm really disappointed that it got delayed. But of course. This is what happens when you have strikes and you have things that get held up because of said strikes and stuff has to shift as a result of it. And this film got shifted into being a summer release now. But everything I've heard about this film is phenomenal. It sounds like it's going to be one of the strongest entries for the franchise. I guess we can call it a franchise now. I do expect this to be better than part two, if I'm being quite honest. I don't think it, I don't expect it to be better than part one, but I do expect it to be better than part two. It could easily become the best of the series in my in my outlook when i see it i could rank it day one then part one of a quiet place and then a quiet place part two but again the trailer dropped this morning we also got this first poster if you wanted to check that out here look at this cool new poster that came out this morning thought it was a pretty simple short and to the point trailer didn't overshare too much but again a book a bulk of the story 
the majority of the story is going to definitely be carried by Sammy and Eric. I'm also been told that Eric has a bit of anxiety to his character. So that explains why you see him screaming at one point in the film and why I've also heard he's a pretty whiny as an individual. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you can never miss a video in the description. I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.